Hello everyone, so today we're going to be going over the first in first out page replacement algorithm technique. We did do the other two which is last recently used and optimal, so have a look in the description if you want to move on to those when you're done. Highly suggested as the order of first in first out, last recently used, and optimal is the best order to do as it gets harder each step. So as you can see here we have a nice little reference string which is this over there and then we've also got our three frames that it's in main memory for this example the main memory will only have three frames and then we have the fourth frame to check if it's a page fault or a page hit which I'll get into in a second so as you can see over here we have three open frames seven is being requested to be put into main memory which we can because there's three open frames two is being requested which we can as there's two open frames and 3 is being requested to be put into memory, which we can, because there's one open frame. Now, each one of these is a page fault. Now, a page fault is represented by a star, and it's when a new number has been brought into memory. Now, let's quickly write that over here so you guys can remember what a page fault is. So, it's only represented by a star like this. And a page hit is the other type. And a page hit is represented by an H, easy way to remember it, H for hit. Basically, what a page hit is, is when a number is being requested to be put into main memory, but that number is already in main memory. Now, these would be processes in real life. In operating systems, these would be processes. However, they were just represented as numbers, to keep it simple. And I'll show you what page hit means with this next example. So as you can see here, we'll be talking about what first in first out is. So I like to highlight the first time a number has been introduced so we can keep track of where it is. Because first in first out is essentially the first number in, which is this one, is going to be the first one out when we need to replace it. And you might ask, why do we need to replace it? Well, we've got three full frames and a new number is being asked to be put into the frames, which we can't do because it's full. So we have to choose what they call a victim frame. And as we can tell here, 7 is the oldest frame in the memory, so we replace that with a 1, because the first in is going to be the first one out. So it becomes 1, 2, 3, and that is a page fault. Now, the next part, it is requesting a 2 to be put into memory. However, you might notice the 2 was already in memory, and this is what we call a page hit, because we're not changing the main memory, it's the staying the exact same because we already have the two in. So that's left as it is. Now with the five, we once again choose which is the oldest. And sorry, I've got to um, highlight when the one brought in. So as we can see from all these, the oldest is the two as the seven's already been taken out. So let me go ahead and just visualize like that. And in this case, the oldest is the two. So we're gonna take the two out and we're going to go ahead and put the 5 in place of the 2. So 1, 5, 3. And we go ahead and follow the same pattern, which is highlight when a new number comes in, as well as marking it as a page fault, and carry on. So the 3 wants to be put in, and we follow the same pattern. We see, oh, we already have a 3 in memory, which is right over there. So once again, it's in memory, so it doesn't need to be added as it's already there. So we go ahead and we write the same main memory and mark that as a hit. Now, if we go ahead and do the next one, you can see it's a 4 and the same thing goes as before. The oldest is the 3, so we replace the 3, so it's 1, 5, 4. Get my marker out, highlight that it's been swapped out and get the yellow out mark as page fault now this is the basis of first in first out you can leave here and go ahead and um, look at the rest of the videos if you understand it as it is then you will be pretty fine however i do recommend that you do this with me go ahead and pause the video now and try and complete the rest and see how it goes in there so one Looking at the oldest one again, it is 1. So I'm just putting it here now just so I can quickly show you. So we'll go ahead and cross one out because that is on. 
Being deleted, just in case you didn't understand why it wasn't there. Then we replace that with a 6, 5, 4. Go ahead and highlight that as a page fault, or write down as a page fault. Kill off the 1, as I like to say. Um, and highlight the new number, which is R6. Now obviously for you this might seem tedious, the task of highlighting every time a number comes in. But it's really good because as you can see here, we know exactly what to replace, and that's the 5, because it's the first item that was put in, in our main memory. So it's going to be the first to be released. So I can easily just go ahead and do, okay, yep, 6, replace the 5 with a 7, 4. And go ahead and highlight it, kill the 5 off, and then you, you follow that pattern, and it gets really, really easy. Now if you really do struggle with this, and, and you keep forgetting, like I was, I've shot this video quite a few times and I kept forgetting to write it in, then you can leave it out and do it on your own, do it all in black. All up to you, but from a, a teaching standpoint, it makes a lot more sense to do it like this, as it's not just all black. Um, I think visualizing with different colors is really great, it makes things really easy. So here we can see another page hit, because we already have a 7, we already put the 7 in here. So it's requesting 7 be put into main memory, but we already have a 7 in main memory, so that is not necessary, so we can just write the same thing, as well as marking that as a, no, that's not how you mark a hit, marking it as a hit, there we go, um, and carrying on with a string, and also remembering to kill off the number that got replaced, always do that, and obviously in this case it hits, so we don't kill off any of the numbers, so we go and do the next part, this is 6, 7, replace the 4 as it is the oldest 1. Mark that. Highlight the new 1, as well as kill off the 4. Just to say again, you don't have to do all this. This won't be on any test, no one will ask you to do it in this specific way. And I'll show you how they're going to ask you in the majority of the tests I've seen and the ones that I've done. So we'll go ahead again, see it needs a 0, 6 is going to be the one that's going to be replaced. and we will replace it with a 0, so that's 7, 1, and a fault. I also explain to you faults and hits and what is good and what is bad um, in terms of operating systems. It might sound bad because it's a fault, or it might sound bad too because it's a hit, but um, don't don't make any, um, uh, don't, don't think that each one is bad until you've heard what I've explained in the end. So if we go ahead and highlight again, which one has been brought in, which is 0, and the 6 was replaced, or killed off as I like to say, and that once again makes it really simple for us to see what needs to be replaced, and in this case 7 is the oldest, so we go and replace 7. Personally, the easiest way I like to think of it is we're replacing the oldest one, and that to me is the absolute easiest way to remember is circle them all and then look at the oldest one and then you can see okay yep we replaced or we have to replace that one that's essentially what the technique is and that's what first in first out actually means the first one in is the first one out um so yeah if you ever get stuck and you have out of it just think carefully about what the name means and go ahead and kill that one off and get the pin out again go there and we can see again that the oldest one is 1, so 0, 5, 4, replacing that 1, and as soon as you've written the new number down, highlight it. I find that's the best thing to do, because you don't forget about doing that, and once you're done with the rest, kill off that guy, and just repeat this until we get to the end. It's as simple as that. There's no other tricky parts when it comes to first in, first out. Um, the hardest one is optimal. It builds on the last recently used idea, which you might not have learned yet, which is fine. You can go watch the next videos. But um, I, I explain it in a very simple way for everyone to understand. As I actually got that wrong in my test, so I learned the hard way how to do it. That's mainly because I'm a very visual learner, so I did struggle a lot with being taught in the very uh, explanation. You know, they, they like to explain it a lot, opposed to just show me. And if you explain something to me, that's quite complicated before I get shown, I, I generally get quite confused. Um, anyway, going back to this, we're going to see that this is a 2. 6 is the newest, so we don't replace that. 5 is the oldest, so we replace that with a 2. And write a 4, and as you can see, I've once again forgot to kill off the 0. 
And now we're going to kill off the five as well. Because that is the victim frame. That was the one that was replaced. Now from here on, you should be able to tell that we're not going to have any more page hits. Um, you might not be able to tell that if you're, if you're doing this for the first time. I definitely wasn't able to. And that is completely fine. Um, so once again, the new number brought in was two. And good habit of reminding yourself to do that. And so on. So that's six. And that is going to be two. And replace the four with a three. And then we will just show that three is the new one. We'll kill off the four to show that it's not in memory anymore. So you don't get confused. And mark it all as a page fault. Sweet. So we got two more. I'm just going to do them fast. Uh, you can see it's six. So we're going to kill two and a three Correct right, the page faults preferably in the square like I have done <laughs> uh, but I'm uh, not the best when it comes to using pencils and pens or whatnot I've always been very heavy on the computers but I find using pens and pencils very important when it comes to teaching so I think it's a lot easier to show like this and my drawing tablet allows me to do a hybrid of computer and pen and paper and I think it's really really awesome and uh, allows me to teach in the way I prefer most. So as we can see again, two is the oldest. One is, yep, two is the oldest. Replace that with one. And it is another page fault. Awesome. So now we are done. I'm not going to end the video here because I'm going to quickly explain to you now how they would normally ask you on the test. So the new number important was one. So just going to kill that off. And... This now allows us to see in the end what is left in my memory. I think it's pretty cool. It's cool to see how you've done everything and visualize it. So what they're going to ask you is they're going to ask you how many page faults do you get for this reference string using first in first out algorithm? Or how many hits did you get? I've never seen how many hits did you get. I've always seen how many faults. But expect it to be um, either or. But it's fine. I just notice I left the L out here. <laughs> um, so to do that, it is quite simple. The reference string we have here is 20 long. So you can just count 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now what I like to do is I see, okay, I've got 20 in the reference string and I've also run into one hit two hits, three hits. So in total we have three hits. And you know, you might see what I'm doing here. That in total is three hits. So what we do is we do 20, because that's how, that's how long the reference string is, minus three, giving us the total of 17 page faults. That tells us how much page, page faults there are. Um, because it's essentially taking away all the page hits, which leaves you with the only other thing, which is page faults. And then that's how I like to do it. And I think that's how most people like to do it, just for the speed. So the answer for this would be you get 17 page faults when doing the first in, first out algorithm for the given reference string. And that is it for the first in, first out algorithm. Um, just before I go, I'm just going to quickly explain that a page fault is not necessarily what we want. A page hit is what we want. A page hit is a lot less demanding on operating system because it takes no time for the page hit. Because a page hit essentially means, oh, okay, we have a 7 in memory over here. We want to put a 7 in memory, but we already have it, so we don't have to do anything. So that takes practically zero seconds. But when you've got something in memory and you need to replace it, it takes a lot more time. And the goal with the operating system is to be as efficient as we can in the majority of the cases. And that, I hope that answers your question of which one is essentially the bad one. Um, I originally thought that the hit was the bad one just because of the name. Uh, but I guess it's quite straightforward to see that fault would be the bad one. So yes, fault is the one we don't want. And when you're comparing three different algorithms, which is first in, first out, last recently is an optimal, you normally use the same given string to find which one has the least amount of faults. The one with the least amount of faults is the most effective algorithm to use for your given string. So I hope you enjoy that. 
go ahead and watch the other videos. Go ahead and study them and do my examples. Pause my videos. And if you liked it, give it a like, comment, subscribe, comment any feedback. Um, I love constructive criticism because I want to make my channel better and better and better. And I hope you enjoy your day. Right, thank you.